Wentworth has seen continuous growth over the last decade, creating the need for more police presence. WSAV's Brian Gallagher spent the day visiting the city's new precinct and tells us why. It's been a long time coming. The exponential growth of the city of Port Wentworth creating a bigger need for public safety. On Thursday, the police department introducing their new substation to fill that need. We've noticed the growth for a while as, as well as the city, you know, mayor, council and all staff knowing that we needed to do something. The city's growing and we just need to buckle down and grow with it. The new substation on Magnolia Boulevard in Port Wentworth strategically placed just off Highway Boulevard, one of the busiest areas in Chatham County. We, we think the location is great for just that. It's right off of 21. We're down here at the larger neighborhoods in our, within our city limits and it's just an easier location. We all know how traffic is around here. With District 1 on the north side of Port Wentworth, seeing more growth compared to other parts of the region, longtime residents say the precinct was necessary. I have been a Port Wentworth resident for over 13 years, waiting for a police precinct on the north end of town. We've experienced tremendous growth in this area. We needed it more than we needed. Than we wanted it. Assistant Chief Sherrod says it came down to making themselves more accessible to the growing city and breaks down all of what can be accomplished at the new precinct. Citizens of the city will be able to come here now, retrieve accident reports, pay fines. We also have our code enforcement division up here, our certification division, and our office of professional standards. You can also file police reports here, file police reports, or just in general come up here and ask for assistance. The department tells News 3 it's not just stopping with a substation. The city plans for a north side facility to keep up with the continuous growth. In Port Wentworth, Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side.